for the inventory revaluation what have to do just go to inventory module then in the inventory transaction in the inventory transaction you can see the inventory transfer and inventory request as a, a part of the discussion we are discussing the inventory use of the inventory transfer request and the inventory transfer so just click on the inventory transfer request you will see such types of the screen and uh, here uh, suppose that uh, R&D person uh, uh, requesting the store to uh, supply certain materials so he will come here and select the material like this just select the material these two materials selected and write the information from which warehouse to uh, which warehouse have to uh, transfer so first select from which warehouse so obviously this material is FG item so material is available in FG warehouse so for the practice point of view I am selecting FG warehouse here and the material will transfer to the RN warehouse so here just select two quantity and this one is two quantity got it and uh, if you want to see the material is in which warehouse you just click here this is the FG item so this is the inventory and you can see the material available in FG warehouse the, the quantity is 100 so it is okay and just add click on the add button the request will transfer to the store person how they can see the request get uh, from the R&D department for the same uh, uh, alert will have to deploy that can transfer from R&D person to the uh, store person so just click on the add button the request get, uh, got generated and the alert will transfer to the store person then the store person will uh, uh, click on the invented transfer and uh, he can select from copy from buttons click here and select the inventory transfer request and you can see the inventory transfer request here so just a minute please this is the inventory transfer okay request what is generated this one whenever I am selecting to inventory transfer from here it get transferred but uh, we are not able to select from the screen of inventory transfer whenever the inventory transfer opening and copy from the inventory transfer request the request is does not appear here that means there is a update issue so the request should be appears here see here this this is here just click here whenever the store person got the alert click here and select this item whenever he will click on the add button the inventory transfer from uh, RM warehouse to the uh, FD warehouse to the RM warehouse. So, what is the general entry passing on this transaction? So, just click here. Uh, so, the item is the batchable. So, just click auto and update first one, then select second one and click on the auto select and update. You can see that the required numbers of quantity transfer from this side to this side. Now, click on OK button and click on the general entry. You will see the general entry. Obviously, the finished good transfer from FG warehouse to the uh, uh, RM warehouse. So, the one side the FG stock account get credit, whereas another side get net. So, this is the general entry. There is no meaning of general entry. One side get credit, another side get debit. So, this is the simple process of the inventory transfer whatever the uh, material required to the R&D department uh, to the another uh, department uh, for the any purposes so you can uh, do the transaction by this so this is the process of the inventory transfer now I am coming on the inventory revaluation so there is no documents for the inventory revaluation so we can't do right now inventory uh, revaluation so just come here 
and write the document numbering document search here document numbering and define the numbering series for the inventory revaluation so this is the important topic how we can revaluate the our stock suppose that we have uh, here the already transaction uh, is going on so we can't change this one so we will have to define another document series so just click on the add on row and define here one to so on and uh, here financial year and just select the branch if there are numbers of branch uh, then in that case uh, here select the particular branch otherwise it will create lots of problem to create the document series so keep in mind all these things yeah. okay so now just click on the inventory transaction and then inventory revaluation where is inventory revaluation is the transfer this is the inventory revaluation just open now what I have to do in that case suppose that we have few items and one to after I uh, I completed the production in the month of the uh, January 2023 and now we are in the 24th April month so the material is already in stock from the long time and its price gets changed the market value of the material is now uh, got increased in that case we will revaluate the stock value suppose that the stock value was 100 rupees at in the month of the January 2023 now it is 150 rupees so how we can revaluate the item so simply just select the item and this is the uh, stock and the initial value new cost what I have to do we have to define new cost so so here you can see there is no any current cost on the item that means yeah this one is the current cost 50 rupees here you can see this is the current cost of the 50 rupees of the item now we are we are trying to maintain the cost of this item is now 70 rupees so just here write the 70 new price and click on the update button the price of the material will get updated this is the way through which you can re-evaluate the price of the items got it so the item price where got revaluated so you can see the same thing like this the that and that item was now just for your kind information control a and select the same item you will see the current price is 70 rupees sorry uh, 70 rupees you have just see 70 rupees and now you can change up you can increase as well as decrease got it so this is the process through which uh, we can revaluate the value so just revaluating by 50 rupees now you can see here what happened the general entry is going on this product get credit by 200 and stock difference losses by 200 this is the actual cost this is the for this is the last purchase price of the material got it take up so yeah, is by the help of this step you can revaluate the stock of the material clear okay now the second thing is in the inventory module the here the physical counting of the uh, material so after the inventory revaluation you can see the physical counting here frequent prices inventory report offering balance cycle counting regulation I, this one this is the No, this one is not inventory counting. Just wait. Inventory. This is inventory counting. This one. This one is inventory counting. And this is a lower inventory counting transaction. Inventory transaction and inventory counting. Inventory counting. This one is here. This is the inventory counting. So, first define the document series and then you can do here so what I have to do 
just write down document numbering and change the create the document numbering for the inventory counting and inventory posting so here this is the Where is inventory posting and inventory counting not available in the document CRM? So I am searching the same thing. Inventory resolution is here. Inventory posting is here. So just create the document series for the inventory posting. It is required for the same. There is no any document number is here, so you can change it here. So this is the now inventory posting. Inventory posting get changes and inventory counting. Where is inventory counting? Just see here inventory counting and uh, we can inventory opening balance. So inventory posting is here. Incoming size, inventory revaluation, inventory transfer, general entry, and then the inventory counting. Just see above. Sales return delivery error code now. Uh, items. Where is inventory counting? Uh, inventory transfer landed cost is here. Service for production here. Inventory posting is here. All the data department inventory posting tax payment incoming project management. Now input service. Self invoice credit inventory opening balance and blanket agreement inventory counting is here. See here, this is the inventory counting. So just change, you can't change it because already some documents is created here. So just click here, right at add row and click the new document series for the session 24 25th. And just select here branch Ambika Energy Solution. It is my company. We are working in the Ambika Energy as a solar PPC work. So if you have any requirement, you can contact me for the same also. Got it? Now, now what I have to do just click on the inventory transaction, inventory counting, then the inventory counting yeah let's get open document number series get defined and get open suppose that we have this items this items well in the system it shows that in the warehouse found quantity is 10 but in the actual numbers of quantity in the warehouse is more than 10 in that case what we will do in that case just count it click here this is the 10 and just write down what is the exact value. The exact value is 12. So just fill here 12. Okay. And just add it. In that case, whenever you will add it, it get added. This one is added. But the your inventory did not get updated into 10 to 12. So how it will update it? Just click on the back button. Okay. And copy to the inventory posting. Same thing get on the inventory posting. You can go through the copy to the inventory posting. Or you can open the posting inventory posting screen and fetch up the document from there. So whenever you will click here, then the documents will get created and your stock will be your stock will be updated as of more than uh, the updated stock will be 12 okay so this is the process you can also do just minimize this one and come here inventory posting take it copy from button copy from inventory counting just here the today date is 12 so just select this one and this is the today data so just finish it and you will got it the initial inventory counting was 12 
new on entry consumer goodwill that is the daily two quantity variation so this is the actual things just click on the general entry and check it so this is okay Two quantity got included, so that's why it demands in the batch. Now click on the general entry, and you will see that <laughs> yeah, yeah, just uh, the consumption of electronic sourcing. There is a uh, inventory a loss and gain account so here the consumption account is left so it get credit whereas where I finish good products get debit with the same amount so this is the general entry at this transaction just click here and add and now your new stock will be 12 whereas the old stock was 10 got it so this is the total process to how we can re-evaluate the uh, our stock. So what we are uh, we did in this session, how we can generate the inventory transfer request, how we can transfer the material from one warehouse to another material, another things is how we can do the complete the inventory counting and the inventory posting. So these are the four things we discuss in this session. Okay, have a nice day. Bye. Good night. Thank you.